Hello my friends, it's Sherry. How's everyone doing today? Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad you're here. I'm doing today a flip through of the Flamingo Journal. Yes, she is finished. <laughs> so yeah, I was getting to be a little dragged out for me. So I'm not used to doing it. I was doing the videos every Saturday, you know, and trying to do it all on video, but I just had to go ahead and finish it up. <laughs> I just had to go and get it done. So uh, here she is. I've got a little goodie bag here, which we'll look at in a minute. But uh, so cute with this flamingo fabric on this side. So it's a fabric covered journal. And I got a beautiful tassel, which we made together on video. All kinds of fabrics and yarns and ribbons and things. So I think it came out so pretty. So that is detachable because I have it hanging on a little uh, bulldog clip there. Let me show you once again, just in case. You didn't see that video uh, I'll try to link it below but uh, it was one of our you know the Saturday videos that I've been doing um, with this journal so let's put that to the side it's got a tie closure here pretty pink ribbon to match it's uh, held on with a eyelet right here in the back so I just have the ribbon strung through the wrap um, through the through the eyelet and then what I was, how you tie it up is bring this around. This is how I've been doing it. Of course, whoever gets this, and it is spoken for. This journal is spoken for, so it won't be in my shop. But I bring the ribbons over evenly once I wrap it around the back to the front. And then just tie it off wherever you want. I mean, you could bring it to the front. Let me bring this one to the front. I've been bringing it to the side, but let me show you how it looks in front. If you want to tie it on top here like this. Either way is super cute, and it's, it's it's a strong ribbon, so there you go. So cute, right? So, and I have some pom-pom trim. So, I had been saving things. If you didn't see any of the Flamingo journals, and you're just watching this journal, I, uh, Flamingo videos, and you're just watching this video, I uh, was saving things for a Flamingo journal, and uh, then Stephanie... A friend and a customer in my shop and things like that she comments on my videos so you might see her but she sent me some happy mail some flamingo happy mail and so I decided to go ahead and make the journal that I've been saving up for and here it is and I have lots left over so I can make at least probably two more journals but here's everything lots of goodies still left I used I tried to I was trying to use all of Stephanie's goodies but I do have some left in there not a lot, but some, and so those will be stashed in there for my next Flamingo journal. But anyway, here's the cover, as you see. Let's get started with a flip through. Uh, so that's fabric inside and out, and it's cushy. I used half of the envelope that Stephanie sent me her goodies in. It was a nice, thick bubble envelope, so I, you know, cut it in half and used, like, the back of it. And so it's so cushy because I have the envelope in there, and I have some batting and then the fabric and then the fabric over here. So very cushy. I think it's the cushiest cover I've ever made because it was a little hard to, um, what was it? It's hard to sew through at some point. So here, here we start off with a wallpaper, beautiful flamingo wallpaper. And I think the flamingo wallpaper was from Maria. And then... Here's a little flip out here. This piece, I'm not going to, I don't want to, there's a lot in here from Stephanie, so um, I'll try to point out what was from Stephanie, but maybe I might not every time because there's just, you know, I'll be saying that so much you might get tired of hearing that, but there's some pretty trim here. And then this, I mean, it's a little flip out, so you have lots of room. And there's so much room in here. I did lots of flip outs. This is a pretty blue paper here, and I've just paper clipped on a little flamingo flamingo here is a little flamingo floaty with a sloth floating there and uh yeah i want to point out the pieces some of the pieces that stephanie sent me because i want you to know and i want her to know what i did with it and uh so she sent me these little circles they were just punched circles i guess they were punched and you know with like a circle punch and so i punched a hole and added this little sticker super simple it's a little um up you know, um, 3D sticker type of thing. So it's popped up and added some little baker's twine. But isn't that cute? It was just like a colored book page. 
it's kind of light blue on this side and this color on this side and added this little sand castle sticker and just that just turned out so cute I was just so excited when I put those together uh, so here's a flamingo page from Stephanie and on the back here I added some of her pieces of paper that she put lots of little cutoffs in the package that she sent me so this is a pocket and a belly band so in the belly band this is another beautiful piece that she sent me it's card stocky and I've just made it into a journaling card and it goes I put it right in here in this pocket and then the belly band here holds another piece that two pieces that I put together that she sent me this beautiful I thought this was beautiful on this side too it has like this little I'm calling this a top part, topper although it's just printed on the paper but still it looks like a topper then you can write down here so it's a journaling card and then she sent me this pretty little piece here maybe from a magazine or something but just all the colors work together for this journal and so that's that some ledger paper uh, it's all from Stephanie here on this page so the ledger paper the ticket and I added that little puffy sticker butterfly there and just added that as a decoration pineapple here this is from Stephanie this green paper and so is this and this <laughs> little puffy uh, flower flamingo paper that I had saved up for the journal and some trim on this side there's is there is a pocket so uh, this was a piece pieces these are pieces from Stephanie so uh, this paper here so pretty and then she added she sent a package of uh, ephemera numbers so I put 2023 20, right here with the numbers across and then it can be written on the back of course things like this can be glued down as decorations somewhere just whatever somebody wants to do with something like that and then these two pieces from Stephanie I put together and the fabric all into this tag which can be written on the back but just a pretty tropical piece from like a magazine and this pretty green paper there with a fabric tab and then uh, oh uh, let me show you real quick the top of this again I didn't really show you all the goodies I have fluffed out here with from tags and paper clips and there's two bee dangles which I will show you again we'll, we'll come across in a minute again but I wanted to show you a flamingo uh, big dangle there and this is a palm tree here and those charms are from I made the bean dangles from things I had and then I added charms that Maria had sent me a while ago I don't know if that was for my birthday was that for my birthday I think it might have been okay so where were we? right here so next page a big flip out here with a flamingo game card or flash card Right there so it kind of sits like that go either way so much room you can just write your life story on there and so or glue things on there whatever this is a page from Stephanie where I added some note paper that she sent me and just put them both together these two pieces as a little uh, note like a note page note paper page here so it says reminders up here and take time to beautiful type sorry Take time to see beauty all around you. So lots of space there. Uh, pocket here where I put together some things, some lace. That was from my own stash. And then the cardstock back here and a pretty piece of paper. Two tags that can be written on the back with some fabric. A sticker here. I think all of these bits are from Stephanie. And so on this page I put one, there's two, like a double pocket. One in the back of this cardstock and one under the lace right here. You can see the tag under there, slipping under there. So, and that's sewn on. Uh, two stickers here just to, you know, who, you know, the person that's getting this can use these however she wishes. But this was so cute. It's a pine pineapple with a bunch of flamingos, a flock of flamingos on there. And then these two pretty little flamingos there. So cute. Those are from Timu. And then this is the envelope from Stephanie that she had all the color on it. So really pretty. A page from her paper. So this is a flip out envelope. In here I have a journaling card 
that was made from bits from Stephanie. She even sent me these little gems right here that I added onto this and this envelope, which is lined with pretty paper. So that fits in there. And this, these little bits here that look like drilling cards, those were from Stephanie. And this is one of my Timu stickers right there to decorate this, this envelope. And on the side, this paper was from Stephanie. I thought it was so cool. I wanted to do something with it. So I glued it down here so it can be a surface that can be written on or glued something down, whatever, and a little decoration down here with a ticket and a little a puffy, um, I'm going to call it a bee because <laughs> I'm not sure what it is. And then uh, this page here, a beautiful, from a beautiful art, it looks like art book or something like that. Anyway, it's a picture of a, uh, it looks like a picture of a piece of uh, art, you know, like a painting or something. So really pretty. This is a pink page. There's a fold out on the other side. So I wanted you to see, I wanted you to see the width on how it folds out. And then this is a, a pocket here where Stephanie has sent me this label. So really pretty. And I put it on a piece of paper or cardstock that she sent me. Made a pocket there with some other bits. So this is a sticker that uh, she sent me that is on here on this paper made into a tag so it's like a little topper on that tag and then you can actually hang I don't know it doesn't quite hang but uh, so that's there it says hope and it's got a pretty picture on it and this was a cut off I had a few of these and I just thought um, I would make some skinny tag so I thought this was so cute it's just a skinny tag paper is paper and it's pr really pretty and I added the string that Stephanie sent me this pretty pink uh, string here so that is in there a skinny a skinny tag here I have some of the bits you know cut off so I sewed together and added that little sticker there so oh that's a button those look just like stickers but they're not flat that's a wood button I forgot <laughs> yeah, that's not a sticker it looks like a puppy sticker but it's a wooden button. And this is some cross stitch paper from Stephanie, both of these. Put these two together as a flip out. Then here, uh, this is one of the, uh, I'll show you up close too again, just in case you didn't see it before, but this pretty bead dangle here that I've been making, tons of those. And all these bits here are from Stephanie, so I put these two together as a tag with the fabric and everything's from her. So didn't that turn out pretty and those colors go so well together. I just love that one, like a cross stitch pattern there. And then this one too, all the bits are from, except for, you know, the remembers from her too. She sent me a little sheet of stickers. And so pretty flowers all over this pretty paper. You can write on the back if you'd like. And then there's a little sticker there that says remember. So pretty that that is in there. And then, oh, I had the, uh, yeah, I had these. I was trying to figure out how did I have this. I had the paper clip on here so these would stay in place. <laughs> so let me put that back on there. And I think I had it up here. There we go. Now on this side, oops. Of course I, of course I paper clipped two pages together, you know. I mean, why wouldn't I? <laughs> So there we go. Now this is the center and you can see this pretty paper. I left it blank so whoever gets this can just go to town decorating here or adding their pictures <clears throat> or whatever they would like to glue down here. But I just wanted to leave it wide open for someone to do something special there. And I did put this little drilling card here. A little papery one. I don't like the papery ones because they can be so easily glued down as anything you want or you know, just written on the back, whatever. There's a pocket on this side, a little ticket here with puffy stickers, an apple, and a little flower. So cute. Just a decoration. Another tag. This is some of the uh, fabric from the scarf that I used as a topper here on this papery tag. All from Stephanie. All these paper, this paper and the fabric there. And these two pieces I put together. Um, as, a, as another skinny tag. And this jute twine here was from Stephanie too that I used as the topper there. So a uh, nice base to write on the back or whatever. Use as a bookmark, whatever you want. Fold out here 
lots of room here and this paper is so pretty just love the colors on that and this is that cross stitch paper fold out here this painting is from Stephanie and uh, and this piece was from Stephanie this little cute flamingo from the dictionary there and this paper is so pretty and then uh, a tag here that I had paper clipped there with a little that fabrics from Stephanie too isn't it so pretty and these pieces I put together from her too as a journaling card lots of space to write on the back so let's put that back up there you could you could choose to leave those together or you can always take apart the paper clips and use the fabric pieces somewhere else you know whatever these this was from Stephanie this little these little pieces right here I think she already had those together and so I put it as a tab here I folded it and put it as a tab I'm, I think she put those together it's hard it's hard to remember everything I did you know worked on this for quite a few weeks so <laughs> it's hard to remember now what I put together and what she put together but I think she put that together this tag this page here on this this is uh we've got a pretty flamingo right here we made sure we put this uh a, you know front and center when we put the pages together so flip out there and you turn and you, of course you can see it this way too and it's got all the pretty birds on here but we made sure we put that flamingo front and center when we cut the paper and so here's another journaling card bits from Stephanie the papers this is scrapbook paper like cardstock so you can write on the back it's um, looks like it's like green on the back and I think that's from Stephanie it looks like something I would do so I'm not sure now but anyway it's pretty and then this piece right here like a little journaling card and the sticker right here was from Stephanie like a tropical looking peace sign there and a pretty little flower sticker those both of those are stickers here's the second palm tree that I or you know bee dangle with the palm tree that I showed you before but it's just so I love how those turned out really. I like I love these bronze little bead spacers are so so pretty. So let's see, I think this was here. And then uh, okay. Okay, on this side I made with um, my, one of my Timu stickers and there was a piece of uh, white cardstock and Stephanie's goodies and I just put them to these two together and made a little opening you know here for journaling little journaling spot so that turned out super cute and then here on this page a tag it's all from Stephanie here and this too little journaling card so those are clipped there and then uh, just pretty paper here this looks like it's from <clears throat> from the sewing book also and this paper here, lots of room for writing. Flamingo paper here, and this pretty paper with a fabric topper. Little tag here, the little fabric topper, and this little flash card tag with three little flower uh, puffy stickers. <laughs> so, so cute, so cute. Trim on that page here little journaling card here put these two pieces together uh, cardstock in the back as you can see with a little journaling card dreams come true right there and this little tab here that I put on with the bit you know scraps I sewed together and another wooden button this is a flip out and then this pretty green page and right next to it another flip out of this well let me do it this way flips out this way and then flips out that way you have room on the back to journal and then you can turn the page and you have room over here too so combination page there a pretty page here there's a start of a flamingo here and the other side was on the front half of the book <laughs> so here's a page here this is another Franken page, but you can see the pieces here together. And I added this pretty tag with some of my glittery uh, ribbon on the top. And then another little journaling spot here. 
with one of my Timu stickers, and I made this one into a tuck spot. So turn the page, there's your flip out on, on this page. Lots of room here and gorgeous paper. And then this right here is the last page, the wallpaper. So I've got clipped on here, uh, Another Day in Paradise. So cute little journaling card and uh, what a way to end a journal, Another Day in Paradise. And there you go, beautiful uh, picture of a flamingo in a tropical paradise and in the back of the journal. Of course, you can add things on here if you wanted to. I just didn't want to cover up any of the flamingos, of course. So, uh, yeah, the person that's getting this will get the journal, the tassel, and the bag of goodies, which, of course, I had to pick out a color that would look, look like a flamingo color. So I picked out this pretty pinkish, almost kind of pinkish salmon-y, like the color of flamingos bag, and that can be decorated and used for in a journal. But in here, I have uh, some of my, I've mixed up all of my Timu and Your Creative Studio bits. So, <laughs> in a couple of little drawers I have here in my craft room. So, I think these are from Timu, but they could, you know, I think they're from Timu. But they're just pretty little bits of paper. I think they're so pretty, so I put some in here. Uh, with these, they have little labels, so you could glue them down somewhere. As a decoration and right on these little there's little tags on here so those are so pretty and then a little bit of trim here that I was gonna I was trying to use on here I tried several times to use it in here but I didn't so I put it in here for future use in decorating and then a little piece of paper that I came across is there two here I think this feels thick I don't know if it's I think it if you, when you get this, I know, you know, I don't want to say the name of the person that's getting this, but I think it might be a sticker. I don't want to break it or anything, but you'll have to look at this when you get it and see if it's a sticker. But anyway, it just called to me because of the colors. A little Timu piece here, pink paper. I was looking for pink when I put this together. And here's a little airmail envelope. You know, it's just a piece of paper, but so cute. This is... Uh, pink checklist papery. This is my checklist on it. Some of my extra little sewn together pieces from scraps. Uh, so, you know, mostly these are mostly from the journal. I think I added a couple in there and this one too. Just the scraps, strips from this journal I sewed together. Oh, here's another one here. And then a couple, a few stickers from my flamingos from Timu. Uh, that one says love and it's got a baby on there a baby flamingo I thought that was so adorable and this one I picked out because I put you know I you saw a couple in there so I picked out ones that were different I don't know I think they all might be different in that packet I got from Timu by the way I put my little Timu coupon code below if you would like to check it out with the website link if you've never been there you can go and use my coupon and uh, you know if you've never ordered and you can get a, a, a nice little discount on your first order so yeah if you plan on ordering why not use my coupon so that these are some scrap strips of cardstock from oh I just kind of avalanched everything there from this journal a pink this this guest check I dyed myself with some pink food coloring and a couple of the napkins that I didn't get to use I went ahead and put in here and they're the they're flamingo napkins from Stephanie. So cute. Oh, so adorable. Look at this side. Look at all the pineapples and the leaves. And that turquoise color. Oh my goodness, that is so pretty. And then an envelope here that was calling to me from uh, my drawer of envelopes. And it opens up like this. Great little drilling spot, but the colors look so pretty. At the, I had to put it in here. And so just adorable a card so it's it's with an envelope that it fits into and it's long and narrow so I thought this is a good I love these long like you know it's not super long but I mean it's narrow so these I love these types of cards that can just fit in any journal but it says in the quiet moments has a pretty little scene here my thoughts turn to you so 
it's super cute. An envelope here, pink of course, and a small, so cute. And then some of the bits of extra uh, fabric just can be used as tag toppers or whatever, you know. So there's some of that. I still have plenty left in my little leftovers there, so but I wanted to share some. So I put some in there. And then a little pink index card with a tab on it. So these are super fun. I love these. They're just simple, but they have the little tab so you can write on it and have the tab sticking out of your page if you wanted to make a tab somewhere. And this is, just, again, this jumped out at me. It's kind of tropical and has the pink and green. It says cheerful right here. It's um, made from a folded, uh, I think, magazine page. It's sewn around has the word cheerful and then it, it is a pocket it's rather stiff right here but it's very sturdy because it's uh, at least two layers of magazine page uh, folded and sewn together what makes it stiff is this so stiff is this is a solid a very solid sticker that I put on here but anyway I thought that could be fun because of the colors so that is the journal uh, yeah we took our time and did this on Saturdays um, I'll link my junk journal playlist below also because that has that is where I put all of my junk journal related uh, you know videos where I work on junk journals and do flip throughs and all of that so I hope you enjoyed this one stay tuned for my next projects and uh, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell with the all so that you'll get my notifications and if you wouldn't mind, hit the like. That would be awesome for my channel. And if you would like to comment, I'd love to hear if you like this journal and uh, maybe your favorite thing about it. Uh, you know, that would help me in future journals to know, you know, what people like and uh, include things like that in the future. And uh, I don't know if I said everything. Subscribe. Maybe I didn't say that. <laughs> so thanks so much. And I'll see you in my next video. Have a great day.